Hi everyone, Luana Lamas here with Arbor Real Estate Group, coming to you with another real estate road trip in League City, right outside of Houston. And I haven't come to you with a real estate road trip in a couple of weeks because it was Thanksgiving week and I was out of the country. I hope you all had a fabulous Thanksgiving. I know my family and I did, it was great. But I wanted to come to you today to talk about Texas real estate. I've missed you guys. Today I'm gonna talk about Zillow and how Zillow works and what Zillow is and all that good stuff. I'm sure it's like a household name, everybody's heard of it, everybody knows about Zillow these days. So Zillow is the number one real estate search portal in the nation right now. It is the most used real estate search portal in the whole nation and for a lot of reasons. I mean, it's fantastic because it's user friendly and it's nationwide. But here's the thing, most realtors don't even put their listings in Zillow. Like we don't go in and manually upload listings there. We put our listings in our local MLS or our local Board of Realtors website. In, in Houston, it's HAR, Houston Association of Realtors. And that's where we put our information and then Zillow gathers the information from there. So after we put our listing in, you'll notice a couple of hours later, it will show up on Zillow, homes.com, realtor.com, Redfin. I mean, just all the other search portals will kind of pull the information from the local MLS. And it's a good thing because it allows our properties to be viewed on the number one search portal nationwide. So people coming from out of state that don't even know about HAR can find the houses, which is fabulous. Another reason why it's great is because for sale by homeowners can pay a flat fee and upload their for sale in there as well. And the reason why this is good is because a lot of times there will be a for sale by owner house that meets my client's needs. It's the same size, location, price, everything that my client's looking for. But because it's a for sale by owner, it doesn't show up in a normal search and other realtors maybe don't know about it. So putting it on Zillow is a way that they can get more eyes on it so that my clients can find out if their house meets their needs. In addition to being user friendly and being nationwide, it's also what we refer to as a lead generation tool or a lead source. So what this means is you have a Zillow.com username and password and you have a login that's associated with your email address. More than likely, you've also put your phone number on there. Now you're doing searches on Zillow and Zillow checks the algorithms to see how often you're online, what you're searching for, what you bookmark, what you favorite, all that kind of stuff. They gather your information every time you have a favorite or you bookmark or you want more information on a property and they sell that to realtors who pay for business. Maybe people who are new to the industry so they don't have a lot of business yet or maybe people who don't necessarily work by repeat and referral business, they sell them leads. Now this isn't a bad thing necessarily except for it means that Zillow isn't always the most accurate. So example number one, I put a listing in HAR and it goes online and Zillow puts it on their website. I change it to pending on HAR as soon as I get a contract because we're supposed to do that. That way I don't waste any buyer's time falling in love with a house that they can't have and I don't waste any realtor's time going to show a house that's already under contract. So as soon as it goes under contract in HAR, we put it to pending. Well, Zillow doesn't update it right away. And they say it takes a few days to update, but let me tell you, it doesn't take a few days to update when they pull a brand new listing. So a lot of times my clients will find a house on Zillow, they'll text it to me and say, hey, I wanna go see this house. And I look it up and it's not even for sale anymore. Not only did it already go under contract, but it already closed like two months ago. And it's still showing active as a house on Zillow when they do a search in the area. Now, the reason why Zillow does this is because every time somebody bookmarks that house, they get to sell that lead to a realtor who will now call you and try to book an appointment to go see that house. So it is a lead source for realtors. It is money generating for Zillow. Zillow gathers your information and sells it to realtors. So it's in Zillow's best interest to not have properties pending and sold. It's in their best interest to have as many active properties 
gathering as many leads as possible so they can continue selling them. So I'm gonna get off my soapbox now. I'm not hating on Zillow. I do love Zillow and I love the fact that it is a nationwide search portal for those who are moving to Houston who don't know about HAR. It's great. My husband actually used Zillow a lot when we first met until I broke him of the habit and showed him HAR. So there is an app you can download, HAR.com. You can also just go online to HAR.com. You can create a username and password there and your information will not be sold to realtors. It is part of the Houston Association of Realtors and they protect the general public. You can also ask your favorite realtor and I can actually share a link to my HAR app directly to you or your favorite realtor can share it to you. And then we can communicate through the HAR app. Anytime you select a favorite or you want to go see something, we can communicate that way. And I can see notes that you write on the property as well. So if you have any questions about the HAR app or if you'd like me to share it with you, let me know. If you have any other questions about Zillow or anything like that, please reach out. Until then, I hope you all have a fabulous day and I will talk to you on the next real estate road trip. See you soon.